Let me first ask where you think where you think investors are getting faked out. I mean, I know that um, that estimates were lowered well into this season. Is that the problem? Um, on the reporting season, at, at when you look at the first glance, um, it looked like to be a positive uh, reporting season. Um, we uh, we have half of almost half of the company reporting above expectations, and uh, we have also only one third of company reporting well below expectation. Right, but uh, as you say, we have an issue here because the bar. Uh, of expectation has been set very, very low. Um, for 2019, the EPS growth is at 0.6%. Uh, uh, to give you an example, last year at the same day for 2018, we were at 8% EPS growth. So this is one of the reasons we have seen a lot of, lot of good news uh, during this reporting season. And as you mentioned, we have only halfway in this reporting season. So. You know, it's a little bit like wine. We need a little bit more patience to, so, to know if his reporting season will be a bad or a good vintage. All right, so the, um, the analysts lowered the bar as we got closer and closer to these numbers. The companies, though, Roland, when they're giving their outlooks, have been pretty optimistic, especially when they're, um, when they're forecasting what they expect to happen with their margins. Do you think they're being overly optimistic? Yeah, clearly. I mean, the companies uh, in during this reporting season give also guidance uh, to the equity analysts, right? And when you look at the consensus for 2020, it's remained at 9% uh, EPS growth for 2020. So this looks very, very optimistic given the macro outlook. And when you look into the details, what is amazing is that for half of the sector in Europe, Analysts consensus expect an acceleration of the top line. Yes, acceleration. In a, in a world where uh, Bloomberg uh, consensus of economists expect lower growth in Europe, lower growth in the US, lower growth in China next year compared to this year. And the worst is not, uh, is not on the top line. As you mentioned, the margin is just crazy. Because when you look at the margin expectations, what you have out of the 30 sectors in Europe, 29 is expecting to see margin expansion next year. So we have expectations which, mm. which are still too high for us. Guidance has been very optimistic. And when you look at sector, it's hard cyclical sector like basic industries, industrial tech, on which we have seen a lot of uh, high expectation for next year. You know, with the macro outlook expected, if we have 0% next year, it will not be so bad. We are getting, I just want to quickly break in here, Roland, because we are getting the French October manufacturing PMI numbers in. This is the final reading. It came out at 50.7, which is a little bit better than the preliminary reading of 50.5. Um, clearly very close to a turning point there, but still a contraction and actually a slightly better contraction than the market had anticipated. Um, what are your, uh, you're, t you're talking about your conviction call here and, and you think that um, digital is the right way to go. Telecoms and utilities uh, are a couple of defensive sectors that, um, that you, that you kind of compare and contrast and you actually are bearish on telecoms now. Tell us about your contrarian call. I mean, clearly, it's two sectors with uh, same valuation, uh, two sectors offering 5% <coughs> dividend deal, highly leveraged, regulated sector, uh, defensive, as you mentioned. So clearly, here, we can compare them. And uh, what is amazing is that uh, in the telecom sector, you don't have pricing power. At a time where CapEx is increasing, you've got some pressure on earnings. We have seen earnings downgrade for so many years in the telco sector. You know, the last time we have seen decent upgrade in earnings in telcos. Prince William was not married. No, he has three kids. On utilities, uh, we have better EPS visibilities. Winter is coming. With that, uh, demand for energy will increase. Uh, and that will be quite positive for the utilities sector. Lastly, it's important also to factor in the new commission 
it will uh, take office uh, 1st December. And uh, when you look at the background of uh, the Commissioner on Digital, the Margaret Vestager, and on Energy, Kadri Samson, it clearly give us more, uh, more room for our call, so for utilities to outperform strongly the telcos. 